Thank you for placing your confidence in the name of Carl Stortz. This video is designed to assist you in the maintenance of your Carl Stortz flexible intubation scopes. This video covers inspection, cleaning, and sterilization of the flexible intubation scope. It also covers high-level disinfection and proper storage of the flexible intubation scope. Inspection of your flexible intubation scope. Every Carl Stortz flexible intubation scope must be thoroughly inspected prior to each procedure. The following parts require inspection. The working shaft, the objective lens, and the deflection lever. Check the entire surface of the working shaft for any abnormal conditions or damage such as dents, cuts, wrinkles, or tears. Any indentation in the shaft of the endoscope can cause damage to its internal mechanisms. Check the objective lens on the distal tip to assure that it's free of fingerprints, smudges, or residue remaining after the cleaning sterilization process. If necessary, gently clean the distal tip with 70% isopropyl alcohol. A clean lens gives a better image to the physician. Slowly manipulate the deflection lever to see that it functions smoothly. Rapid manipulation of the deflection lever will shorten the life of the deflection cables. Normal deflection is 140 degrees both up and down, less than one half of a circle each way. In order to protect patients and medical staff, Carl Stortz Flexible Intubation Endoscope must be thoroughly cleaned according to validated infection control procedures prior to use and subsequent reuse. Step 1. Leakage test. A leakage test must be performed before cleaning the scope. The leakage tester is provided to verify its watertight integrity. A hand-operated bulb provides air pressure. Connect the end of the leakage tester tubing with the green bayonet fitting to the vent port on the endoscope. The red pressure release valve must be in the closed position. To pressurize the endoscope, squeeze the hand-operated bulb until the indicator needle rests in the blue zone. Increasing the pressure beyond the blue zone can seriously damage the endoscope. If the pressure does not change, the endoscope does not have a leak. If the pressure rapidly drops below the blue zone, there is a major leak in the working channel. Call your Carl Stortz representative or customer service immediately. To release the pressure, open the red pressure release valve. When the indicator needle has dropped to zero, disconnect the leakage tester. If no leakage was found, continue cleaning of the endoscope. Warning! Wear protective gloves, clothing, and a face mask when cleaning contaminated flexible intubation endoscopes. Step 2. Cleaning of the flexible intubation endoscopes. Remove and disassemble any accessories from the endoscope. The light cord from the light post and any adapters attached to the distal working channel. Remove and discard the disposable suction valve attached to the proximal working channel. This valve is a disposable, sterile, single patient use item. Place the endoscope in a plastic container large enough to accommodate the instrument with the shaft loosely coiled. Immediately after use, soak with a neutral pH enzymatic cleaning solution such as Endozyme, Metrozyme, or equivalent per manufacturer's instructions to prevent blood, protein, and other contaminants.